Special thanks to Patreon supporter of the Red Deer for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 if we're here bringing you another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Metal Slug Shoe and Carn Tank. Uh, Shoe and Carn are a pair of massive tanks that together make up the 4th boss in Metal Slug Super Vehicle 001. They are each armed with one main turret mounted cannon, two sub cannon turrets on the front, a missile launcher on the back, and two side mounted hatches. Uh, which allows soldiers to help defend the tank as well, use you with bazookas or rocket launchers. Uh, this vehicle itself is uh, definitely a very abstract and different tank than I've uh, pretty much ever done before, and this was uh, due to a Patreon request um, by one of my Patreons, um, the Red Deer, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So special thanks to him, thank you for uh, basically sponsoring the video and um, all that fun stuff. If you guys are interested in uh, getting a vehicle every month of your choosing be sure to go ahead and check out my patreon where you can go ahead and uh you know uh go ahead and give a small donation and earn yourself a vehicle a month just for supporting the channel and helping continue uh you know content on here and all that stuff so be sure to uh go ahead and check that out and um you know i'd love to uh you know have you guys on there and build you guys some awesome vehicles of your choosing um, other than that, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the vehicle itself. I mean, again, it's a very derpy and abstract tank. Definitely something I wouldn't normally do. Um, I've never actually played Metal Slug, so I have no clue. I had no clue what this tank was until uh, I was requested by the Red Deer. Um, so, anyways, uh, you can see you get the two front cannons. I believe these are all 155mm cannons. The one on the top is a smooth bore, and then these ones down here are just side turrets. These are 150 or 155mm ones as well. Um, then you have the turret up on the top here. Um, apparently it was based on the ch chassis for the Tiger P, so I went ahead and just took the uh, Tiger P chassis and that I have d already designed and I kind of built upon it and put all the stuff on it that the thing has. Um, it has this front little like, um, almost like a uh, ram, or not quite a ram, but like uh, just like a little thing in the front there. <laughs> not exactly sure what to call it. Um, you know, your two side turrets there, the main turret right up on the top there. On the back here, it actually has a cruise missile. Um, which is pretty crazy. So it's got a cruise missile strapped on the back here. Um, it also has these little hatches on the side here, which I believe these are the hatches it refers to with the uh, you know troops being able to launch bazookas and rockets out the side of it to defend it. Uh, on the back here, just some nice detail and stuff like that. And since this middle slug is a um, two-dimensional game, um, you know it's hard to find anything that really you know depicts exactly what's going on on the uh, you know the backs of the tanks and stuff like that. Um, I did find some concept drawing and stuff like that. It may not be 100% accurate, but uh, I, you know, did my very best to uh, build this thing with a lack of pictures. And I think it came out pretty good. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this build, even though it's completely different from what I normally do. And again, thank you to Patreon supporter the Red Deer for uh, making this video possible. And with that, guys, let's go and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer one. All right, guys. So going ahead and move on over to our first layer. We're gonna go ahead and of course start off with layer one. Now for layer 1, what we're going to do is we're going to place down two narrow brick half subs across like this. And this is going to be the start here of the left front uh, tracks, right over here on the side. You guys saw the mentions at the beginning of the video, so make sure you take those into account. Um, this is a pretty wide vehicle, and it does have a good amount of length. So just make sure you have a proper space for it and plenty of room. And uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So we have the two narrow brick half subs. We're going to place down two narrow brick top subs. Coming off those narrow brick half subs like that, going toward the front. Uh, we then want to go ahead and take our stone brick. Uh, top sabs and we want to go ahead and actually place down a row of stone brick top sabs uh, coming off of this narrow brick top sab or half sab right here and then on this side we're going to do two narrow brick half sabs and then two narrow brick top sabs just like that so you can see here you have the um, inside of the tank here the bottom of the hole and the two tracks on either side just like that now when you get to this point here uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, end rods as well and we're going to place down a row of three of iron trap doors across like this we're then going to follow that up by placing down an end rod that comes off of the inner side just like this. With that done, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, stone brick stairs. We're going to place down an upside down stone brick stair coming off of this like this. An air upside down stone brick stair and then a stone brick top sub coming off the back of that stair like that. And then it's just the same thing over here on this side. Just like this and this is going to create that front kind of plow I was talking about in the beginning of the video. So just like that in the front there, it's going to create the first little part there like so. When you get to this part right here, we're going to go ahead and start off by just working on the left side. We're going to place down two polished andesite blocks. We're then going to place down two stone brick stairs like this, and then two stone brick stairs on the back. Again, two polished andesite blocks, two stone brick stairs, and then two stone brick stairs on the back of them. Two polished andesite blocks, and again, don't forget your stone brick stairs, two stone brick stairs, and then two stone brick stairs, just like that. 
and then we're just going to go and take some stone buttons and place them down on the polished anisite blocks like so. After you have that done, we're going to place down a row of two nerve brick half slabs, followed by a row of two nerve brick top slabs, going back like so. We then want to go and do the same thing for the tracks over here on the right side. So exactly what we did over on the left side, we're going to do the right side here. Very simple stuff. So just like this, going all the way down. And take your stone brick stairs as well, add those in. Just like this, going down. And again, your nerve brick top slabs, just like that across the back there. We then want to go ahead and take our stone brick top slabs. We're going to go ahead and go to the nerve brick half slabs here. We're going to place down a row of three across in between them like that. And then we can just go ahead and take our stone brick top steps and we can fill in the space in the middle here. So this is going to be the very bottom of the hole. So if you want to do some kind of a tier for this tank, you can feel free to go ahead and do so. Uh, there should be plenty of room in this tank. It's quite large. So, I mean, you could get an interior in if you guys want to. I know a lot of you guys like to do interiors for tanks. So um, you can give that a shot. And then on the back here, we're just going to place down two dark oak wood fence gates, just like that. So basically, to summarize what we have in the first layer, we should have something that looks just like that. Make sure you guys have it completely accurate, because if not, it's going to throw off your entire build. It's not very important, because everything's going to be built upon this. And also, don't forget your stone buns on these polished anisite blocks. Really important in making them look a little bit more like wheels. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for layer one. Let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, so moving on to layer two. Now, real quick, before we do, I want to go ahead and make one quick adjustment. We're actually going to go and take our uh, these two iron trap doors right here. We're actually going to break those and put the end rods one more in, just like that. And uh, we're going to do that on uh, you know both sides like that. We're just going to make that small adjustment. Nothing too major, um, but just go ahead and fix that, and you guys are good to go. Now, after you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to this uh, stone brick top side, place down an iron trap door on either side. And on the stone brick stair right here, on the inside, we're going to place down a um, iron trap door as well. So something like that in the front. We then want to take our stone brick half slabs. We're going to place down one and two across like this. And same thing over here, one and two. Just like that for the front there. And in the spaces over here, uh, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate that's going to be opened up like so on both sides like that. We then want to take our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down one and two on top of those stone, those uh, nerve brick top slabs. Just like that across there for the fenders over the um, tracks. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the inside here. We're going to need to grab ourselves some stone. Uh, you know, half slabs. We're going to place down a stone top slab like this on both sides. And in the space in between them, we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair, just like this. Once you have that done, we then want to go ahead and go back. We're going to take our polished anisite blocks. We're going to place down a row of five that goes all the way across, like so, followed by a stone button on both sides. Once you get to this point here, we're going to take our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a stone brick up down stair, like that. And then, same thing over here, stone brick up down stair, like that. And then we can just place down a row of five, or yeah, row five of polished anisite in between the stone brick stairs, like so. Also, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some um, signs, and we're just going to place down a sign on the uh, side of the stone brick stairs, like that. And this is basically to represent the side skirting. Um, it wouldn't actually have like the tracks exposed or anything. It was actually kind of hidden by these um, side side skirts and all that stuff. So that's what we're trying to make here. Uh, we then want to take our polished anisite blocks again. We're going to place down one and two from the side here, and then one and two over here as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a snow block, place down a snow block on either side like this, followed by a polished anisite block uh, on the side there like that. And again, don't forget your sign also on this polished anisite block on the side here. We're not going to place down one on the snow block. Then uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down uh, two polished anisite blocks here, two polished anisite blocks there. Again, a sign on both sides like so. Again, we're going to take our polished anisite blocks, one and two on both sides. And again, your sign on both sides like so. Now when you get to this point right here, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, two rows, or sorry, three rows of two of polished anisite, just going back like this. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab on this one, followed by a stone brick up down stair, and then a stone brick top slab. And it's going to be the same thing over here. So just like this, going back, stone brick top slab, stone brick up down stair, stone brick top slab, just like that for the sides there. After you have that done, we're just going to place down a stone brick stair on the back of here like this, and then a narrow polished anisite block on this side of it, just like that. And then again, a sign on the side of the stair, like so. When you get to this point here, we're just going to take our polished anisite, place down a row of seven all the way across with a stone button on either end. We then want to take our nether brick stairs, we're going to place down one and two, and then one and two on top of those, stone, those nether brick top slabs. And in the space in between here, we're just going to take some stone brick stairs, place down one and two upside down stone brick stairs on the back there, just like that. Once you guys have that done, that's going to basically do it for layer 2, and with that, we can move on to layer 3. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer 3. Now for layer 3, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to the front up here. We're going to go, ahead and go on top of this stone brick upside down stair. We're going to place down a stone brick stair, 
just like that. After you have that done, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick stairs right after that, followed by a iron trap door on both sides, just like there are two iron trap doors on both sides like that, which are kind of part of the fenders. Once you get that done, we're going to go ahead and take our polished dance site. We're going to place down a row of five across like this. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, row of two of stone brick top stabs coming off on either side, just like this. So like that on the front there. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair next to this top slab right here. And then a stone brick top slab that comes off that upside down stone brick stair. Same thing over here on this side, just like that. After you have that done, we then want to go ahead and place down one and two uh, polished and safe blocks after the stone brick stairs. Same thing over here, one and two, just like that. Uh, then we're going to place down a stone brick top slab on either side like so. Followed by a polished anisite block behind it just to kind of fill in that gap there and um, so that you can't really see into the tank. So just kind of fill that in there. When you get to this point right here, we're going to go ahead and take our polished anisite. We're going to place down a row of three after that stone brick top slab. And then we're also going to place down a row of three that comes out on top of these stone brick top slabs and the stone brick upside down stair. And then coming out uh, on the very outer block uh, or the very middle block, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall just like this. One thing we also want to do is up here in the front on these two stone brick stairs here, we're going to place down two item frames and two glass blocks in it like that to make um, some front headlights. Now, once you get that one done with that, we're going to do pretty much the nearly the same thing over here on this side. We're going to place down uh, a row of three of stone brick, or sorry, polished anisite blocks, followed by a second row of three coming out, a, a cobblestone wall coming out like that, and we want to grab ourselves some uh, iron bars. And we're going to place down iron bars on the side here of this row of three of polished and side, just like that. Now when you get to this point right here, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, a polished and side block back on both sides. Then we're going to place down one going in toward the center on both sides like so. And then we want to place down a stone brick stair and a stone, stone brick stair like this, followed by a polished and side block in the very center. And we can also go and take our polished and side blocks, just place down a narrow row that goes all the way across here. Uh, to kind of fill in those gaps and everything so it's not visible and you can see this is kind of part here where the uh, missile uh, was going to be positioned. Now when you get to this part here we're then going to go ahead and take a stone brick stair place it down on both sides. Uh, we then want to place down a polished anisite block on either side on the back of the stairs. We're going to place down a corner stair come off these two stone brick stairs and then a polished anisite block right between them like so. Now on the back here we do have a good amount of detail going on so we're going to need to go ahead and grab some soap, some stuff. We're going to need iron trap doors again and for our iron trap doors, we're just going to place them down on either side there, on top of that narrow brick stair there. We then want to place down a polished anisite block on either side like so. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton skulls. We're going to place down one and two on top of those stone brick upside down stairs. And the last thing we're going to do is just take a cobblestone wall, place it down on that polished anisite block there in the center. Um, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, red stained glass, some item frames, and some signs, um, all of which... Uh, you should almost have all in your inventory. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and place down a uh, item frame on that uh, iron trap door there with a glass, red gloss block in it, and then a sign covering it up like that for the brake lights. Same thing over here on this side, just like this uh, for the detail on the back and everything like that. Once you guys have that done, that's going to basically do it for layer three. And with that, we can go and move on to our next layer, layer four. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 4. Now for layer 4, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this row of polished anisite right above these stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of 3 of stone brick half slabs across the top just like that. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and skip a space and on top of the stone brick top slab here, we're going to place down a polished anisite full block with a stone brick top slab coming off of it for our uh, side cannons. And same thing over here, just like that. Around this uh, polished anisite block here, we're going to place down cobblestone walls, kind of around like that, kind of in a bit of an L shape. Same thing over here on this side, your uh, cobblestone walls that go around just like that to pretty much go ahead and kind of make them a little bit more circular. Of course, the guns aren't center um, as I would have liked them to be, but just with Minecraft and its limitations, that's pretty much the best I could do for that situation. Now, uh, going ahead and going after these stone brick half sides, we're going to place down a row of three of polished anisite, followed by a stone brick stair on both sides, like that for the front there. We then want to go ahead and take our polished dance site. We're going to place down one after these stone, these stone brick stairs on either side, followed by a quartz stair coming out to the outside, just like that. On the back of this quartz stair, we're then going to place down one and two snow blocks, just like that. And then same thing over here, one and two snow blocks going back like so. 
We then want to place down a quartz stair like this, followed by one like so, so this one turns into a corner stair. And then we're going to do the same thing over here on this side, like so. Then uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, iron trap doors. We're going to place down one on top of that center polished andesite block in that row of three that sticks out from the side here. And we also want to take some stone buttons and we're going to place down stone buttons on the remaining polished andesite blocks around the trap door, like so. Also on the left side of the tank, we're going to place down an air cobblestone wall coming up from this one. Uh, and this is only on the left side um, for some kind of exhaust or something like that. Um, is what it looked like from pictures and stuff like that. So that's what we have going on there. Now when we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and take a uh, quartz stair. We're going to place down one like this on your side, kind of at an angle from this one. Followed by a uh, row of three of polished andesite across the back here like this. On the very center polished andesite block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off of it. Followed by two stone buttons on either side of those uh, other two polished andesite blocks. Once you have that done, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some black carpet. And on these three um, polished andesite blocks, we're going to place down black carpet here to represent the um, fence over here over the engine. Now, when we get to this section here, we then want to go ahead and put the uh, missile in. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go to this polished andesite block right here. We're going to place down one uh, green stain clay block to get us started for it. And we also want to grab ourselves cobblestone walls again. We're going to place down one cobblestone wall like this on uh, either side like that. And then on the back here, or on the side here, this green stain clay block, we're going to place down a stone break upside down stair uh, like so. And we also want to place down two more cobblestone walls Go, or, uh, on both sides of that stone brick stair like that. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some signs. We're going to place down signs coming off of those cobblestone walls just like that on both sides and then we're just going to place down one polished andesite block on top of this one that we placed in the previous layer just going up like that which will be part of the exhaust on the back here and uh, everything like that. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button and on this second snow block right here on both sides we're just going to place down a stone button like that for a bit of detail. And once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer 4. And with that, we can move on to layer 5. Alright guys, so go ahead and move on to layer 5. Now for layer 5, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking polished andesite. And we're just going to place down a row of 3 that's kind of over this uh, open space right here. So just a row of 3 that goes across uh, just like that. And I accidentally broke this block over here, so let me go ahead and fix that real quick. My bad. Um, so we have that row of 3 polished andesite that goes across. We're then going to go ahead and take our dark oak with fence gates. We're going to place down one fence gate on the sides of it just like down the two outer blocks and to have them opened up like so. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some um, cobblestone walls again. We're going to place down one cobblestone wall on either side like that. Going back from the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down two polished andesite blocks. Same thing over here, just like that. Coming off those two polished andesite blocks, we're going to place down two stone brick half slabs on both sides like that. After you have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this and then a stone brick stair like that. So you have a corner stair and the stair. And then same thing over here, just like that to go across like so. In between the stone brick stairs, we're going to place down a row of three across like that, and then a row of three of stone brick stairs across the back like so. Very simple stuff, and that's going to continue building up to the turret, uh, which we'll be putting in, in the next layer. Now, uh, once you get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and go back and focus on our missile again. So for this, we're going to place down a green stain clay block on top of what we've already started for it. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, iron bars. We're going to place down uh, one and two around just like this and we're actually going to go ahead and place down the same thing on this side and then one on top of this stone brick um, upside down stair like that. We also want to go and grab ourselves a cobblestone wall and place down one on either side on top of those polished andesite blocks like so. Once you guys have that done that's going to basically do it for layer 5 and with that let's go ahead and move on to layer 6. Alright guys so going ahead and move on to layer 6. Now for layer 6 what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by taking a polished andesite block and place it down on top of this center one and that row 3 placed in the previous layer. We then want to place down one more coming off of it, going toward the front, followed by one, two, and three uh, stone brick, or sorry, cobblestone walls, and then a polished andesite block like that uh, for the barrel of the main 155mm uh, main gun. Now, once you have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair on either side of that polished andesite block, followed by signs on the front of those stairs like that to kind of create a nice mantle for it. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished andesite block um, on the back of those two stone brick upside down stairs followed by a cobblestone wall coming off of it on either side. We then want to place down a yellow stained clay block after that cobblestone wall. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and kind of have another uh, angle here. We're going to place down a um, full block using stone half slabs. So just like that on both sides. And we're going to place down a stone bun on it. And as I mentioned, I believe this is the hatch that the um, rebels or the uh, soldiers would use to fire rockets and bazookas out of. So that's what we have going on there. And then we're just going to place down a row of three of stone brick upside down stairs 
across the back there and that's going to kind of do it for the main portion there of the turret. Now coming back here to the missile again, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a smooth sandstone block on top of that green stankway block. And then again, taking your iron bars, we're just going to go ahead and wrap it around um, the sandstone block, just like that, how we did in the previous layer. And that's going to pretty much do it for that. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our final layers. Um, so we just did, we have uh, layers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 already done. Let's move on to layer 7, 8, 9, and 10. We'll put the antenna on in the top of the turret and the top of the missile, and we'll pretty much be done with the tank. So with that, let's move on to our last final layers. All right, guys, so moving on to our last final layers. Now, uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to this row with the polished and state block and the stone brick ups downstairs. We're going to place down a row of three of stone brick half subs on top of it, just like that. Once you guys have that done, starting on the left side here, we're going to place down a row of two of uh, stone half sabs, followed by a skeleton skull over here to the right. Now, on the, either side here, on top of this cobblestone wall, we're then going to place down a stone brick half sab on both sides. Once you have that done, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick half sabs, uh, starting on the yellow stain quay block and going toward the inside here. In the very center space, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by a polished anisite block on the back of that stone brick stair. On either side of this polished anisite block here, just an air stone brick stair like this. Um, and then we're, you can see we're starting to create the uh, main hatch on the top here. And on the very back here, just a stone brick stair, followed by stone brick half sabs on either side. We then want to go ahead and take a sign, and we're just going to place it down on the uh, back of the, or the front of the stair like this. And on top of this stone brick stair here, we're going to place down three iron bars going up like this to pretty much go ahead and, you know, uh, make the radio antenna. Now, the last thing we're going to do to finish off this build is we're just going to go ahead and take a zombie head and place it down on top of this um, sandstone block like that for the back missile. And once you guys have that done, that's going to pretty much do it for the Metal Slug Shoe and Karn tank. Uh, a very cool vehicle, definitely very unique, something I definitely wouldn't normally do on the channel. So it's uh, kind of cool to see these different unique vehicles and all that stuff. And of course, uh, this came from Patreon and all that stuff. So be sure to go and check out my Patreon link. It's down in the description if you're interested in uh, donating and supporting the channel further. Um, other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thing from Asylum the Build, tuning to my channel or this video, through the various social media sites. Just be sure you get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. And as long as you guys do, you guys are free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, guys, again, a special thanks to Red Deer for sponsoring this video and um, everything like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.